Hello, welcome back to the Gen Fitness YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I have had so much fun creating content for this YouTube, so I'm really hoping that you guys find it valuable uh, as much as I find it fun to give you this information. So if you find this stuff valuable, if you like the videos that I'm putting out into the world, please make sure you subscribe. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm recording this video right now. It's February 15th, so it's the day after Valentine's Day. And it's a holiday where a lot of negative emotions come up for people and a lot of people can be triggered um, by these negative emotions, right? What happens if, if you don't have the proper coping skills in place for certain negative emotions, what can happen is sometimes we find comfort in food, right? So on days like Valentine's Day or Christmas or New Year's, any, really any holiday, we get triggered by these negative emotions and some of us might find that we're finding comfort in food by overeating, overindulging, maybe even binging, okay? What happens when that happens is when you overindulge, overeat, binge, whatever, I know you feel like shit when it happens, right? I know you're down on yourself, your confidence is low, you feel bad, you feel guilty, you feel shameful, and that can create a spiral effect of, well, I did this really bad thing yesterday. Now I have more negative emotions. I don't know how to cope with those. So I'm going to overeat again, right? And then, well, yesterday was off. So today I'm just going to be in my feelings because yesterday sucked. And now that's going on and on and on for days and weeks and maybe even months where you end up in this vicious cycle of feeling bad for yourself, feeling guilty about how you cope, and then coping in unhealthy ways. So what needs to happen is if that happens, if you end up overindulging, overeating, or even binging, okay, that was yesterday. That needs to be left in yesterday. Don't bring that into today. It's time to get over that hump a little bit quicker than you have in the past. Do you see my horses back there? <laughs> I just noticed her little head popping up. Anyway, but today is a different day, okay? Yes, I know it's not ideal, that you binged over a or overindulged yesterday. I know that it's not the greatest situation, it's not the ideal situation, but it happened. So we need to accept the fact that it happened and we need to move the hell on, okay? We need to get over that today. We need to eat a healthy meal. We need to do a healthy amount of exercise, drink a bunch of water, call a friend, find someone that gives you that support to say, hey, I know what you're going through. I understand that it happened. Here's what we're gonna do moving forward. And then I'm actually gonna hold you accountable to, to do the thing to move past it, right? And then more than that, you should have someone who really gives you a plan for dealing with these things, right? Because once we deal with um, a hiccup like this, you need to have a plan moving forward. We know that negative emotions are gonna come up, okay? Not a secret. Negative emotions are going to happen. We are human. We are living, breathing humans. Negative emotions are going to happen. So the next time these negative emotions come up, how are we going to deal with them without overeating, overindulging, or binging, and without feeling guilty and shameful? It's very important to have a plan in place. And this is where a coach comes in handy, guys. Like have a coach who says, here's the plan. I'm going to track you actually doing it, I'm gonna hold you accountable and I'm gonna be as invested in this as you are. Sometimes our family and our friends come from a very good place. They care about us, they love us, they wanna help, but they are not as invested or they're not ready to really do what they need to do to help you. So a coach that you're paying is as invested as you are or they should be. If they're not, you should fire them. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying, okay? This is what I want you to get from this. If something happened yesterday, accept it. Yesterday was yesterday. Deal with it, right? I'm going to shift my camera a little bit. We deal with it and then we move on. Today is a new day. Today is the day we get back on track because if we end up in this vicious cycle, we're going to spiral out of control and then we're really going to feel guilty and shameful, right? Think about this logically. We don't always think logically when we're in our feelings. So I want you right now to take a step back and say, am I thinking about this logically? Maybe not, because when we let ourselves spiral out of control, it's not logical. How is spiraling out of control and continuing to overeat, overindulge, be unhealthy, gain the weight, how is that going to make us feel better? It's not, right? So imagine if I was you and you were me and I'm telling you that these things happened, what would you tell me? 
That's a really good exercise. Imagine that it wasn't you. Imagine that it was a friend, a family member, if it was me, whatever. Someone else was coming to you telling you that they're going through what you're currently going through. What advice would you give them? Turn around and then do that advice. Do that thing. You are perfectly capable of this. It's just getting out of this mindset, this spiral, getting out of the story you've created that you're unable to get out of the spiral or that you're not good enough or that you might fail. Let go of those things. You have to get rid of those stories you've created, the false truths you adopted. Get out of those things. Like that's really all, and it's not that easy. It's simple, it's not easy, I get that, it takes work. But again, this is where you probably need to be in a program. Like, yes, you can maybe do it on your own, but I'm saying that you shouldn't have to, okay? I'm saying that you, if you're serious about changing and you're serious about doing this right the first time is hire someone. I'm not even saying it has to be me, but having someone there to support you, guide you, and hold you accountable is really going to help, okay? Um, now that I went on a little bit of a tangent about coaches, like, Coaches are great. The right coach for you is going to really help you get through it. But what I want you to really take away from this is that we're moving forward, right? We're moving forward. We're moving on. We're dealing with these negative emotions. And then we are making a plan for the future when these negative emotions come up again because we know they are. That's what I want you to take from this video. If you found this helpful, thank you. Make sure you subscribe. Feel free to share um, on Instagram or Facebook. Make sure you tag me, find me. Um, the Gem Fitness page on Facebook is Gem Fitness. And then I'm on Instagram at Sarah Gemmel underscore. Okay. Tag me if you, um, if you share this so I can see it and I can shout you out and I can send you all my love. And if you like YouTube, subscribe. I love you all so much. I hope this was helpful.